What's up everyone, it's Ashto, and today we're playing a game called Haunted Record. Uh, not too sure what it's about, so yeah, like always, let's just get into it. Okay. The rain is loud in my ears. Okay. Are okay. I like the aesthetic. Listen. Imagine. No. Oh. Intruder. In the fall of you. Hi, I'm Minerva, and I'm just a journalist of no importance. May I have your name, Miss? I beg your pardon. I'm Sarah. Oh, Ooh. my bad. I'm looking for a ghost, you see. Whatever do you mean? You're the ghost, dummy. Oh, we got her. Seize your chest, madam. Ghosts don't even exist. <gasps> my mistake. Why don't you show me the door then? Okay, I'll just can't wait. Around while you uh, find your way or something. Cool. Uh, just don't break anything. Okay, uh, so yeah, we're looking for a ghost. Coat hanger. Interesting. This hanger is looking lonely without coats. Well, yeah, my parents went away. Do you know where and why? No, they should be back soon, though. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I interact with the boss? How about the chair? Log. Eh, yeah, obviously it's a log. The clock is dead. The clocks go to heaven. Uh, maybe? Good question. I don't know. Do they? There's a log on the stairs. We don't have logs in our house. There's a... There's a beam on the stairs. How does that sound, huh? Oh, hey. Door's open. Well, the... It's just the dining room. Okay. Let's go check out just the dining room. We got a table. There's a newspaper on the table. My father read them all the time. It's outdated as hell, though. He must have missed a few. Really? How many? How many? You don't need to know this right now. What? Why? I'll tell you when you're older. How rude! I read papers too, you know? Oh yeah? Which ones? Yeah, Just what are you reading? one about ghosts and stuff. It's called Paraphysical. <laughs> oh, no, that's just hilarious. D -d Don't judge me for that! Oh, you, you misunderstand. I'm the person behind that journal. R really? Oh, Minerva, of course! Uh-huh, oh, yeah. Oh, gosh, I adore your walk, madam. Prepare your butt then, because you're my next star. Really? Oh. 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 Huge table for just three chairs. You mean four? We a family of four. I assure you, only three are around the table. Are you sure you counted right? Counting chairs is one of my most developed skills. That's oddly specific. Uh huh. Yes. That's a useful skill in journalism? Not really. Just passes the time. And impresses ghosts. Good, good, good. Okay, um, so obviously we know she's a ghost. And to the hallway. Painting. 
Huh. The painting's gone. Do you steal it? I, I yeah, maybe touch it. Your parents removed it. Uh, maybe. Just kidding. It's probably stolen. Oh, I like that. That was funny. Anything about this nice view? No. Okay. So she's a ghost, and yeah, the family is old. If I can, uh, what is this? Nothing. Okay, ghost. I'm gone. Goodbye. No, okay. Just kidding. Thanks, notification. To the dining room, to the kitchen. Bum 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 ba da boop boop dun dun it's a long gas hallway. Enter. Do 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 There's so many rooms. Enter. Boop bop boo do do do. Hello. Start from here. Nope. Almost nothing here. That's impossible. This is a maid's room. She could do herself, but it shouldn't be empty. Okay, well, obviously it's empty. Oh, keys. Hey, a bunch of keys! Oh, maids had key to most rooms. They should be labeled. Yep, they're numbered one to four. Oh yeah, those are key for our bedroom, I think. They're all upstairs. Hold on, are you gonna snoop around in my room? Uh, yeah. I don't have a choice, I'm afraid. <sighs> I swear, as soon as I figured out where I am, I'll... That's precisely what we're trying to figure out. I know. I know. Well... The only way upstairs is in the entrance. Can I take the keys? Okay, no. Alright, we're gonna go this way. Locked. Would be nice if I had the keys. No, okay. Locked. Locked. This Whose room is this? Is more empty than I thought. Your eyes must deceive you. Our chef is quite extravagant in his taste and decoration. Yeah. I believe you, but there's none of it here. How can this be? I I I don't know. Maybe they moved away forever ago. Oh, there's an old letter here. What did it say? It's addressed to his family, it seems. He's mostly saying goodbye. He talks as if he will never see them again. Didn't manage oh. to send it, I guess. Hmm. That's true. Um, so we're discovering the mystery of the ghosts or something. Of why she's here. Time to raid your kitchen. Holy crap. If a zombie apocalypse ever starts, we'll know where it came from. Ooh. Ooh. Dirty, hopefully. Or dirt, hopefully. Miss. I'll take a note to incinerate all this crap after I'm done. It can't be that bad. You're lucky you're dead and can't smell this. Stop thinking that I'm dead. No. You're dead. Impressive set of knives. Thanks. Shame they scrambled all over the place. Oh, yeah. My mom's terrible in the kitchen. Your mom? I assumed you at least had a chef for this kind of kitchen. We did too. I mean, we do. I'm not really sure what happened, but I remember my mom cooking as well. Okay, yeah, we you don't met the chef's what happened room. To him? No, I'm sorry. Probably should have went Fine. one room, we first room. Time to figure it out. First room, then second room. Yada yada yada. Fridge. Okay, let's talk to the refrigerator. Dare I look inside? Hmm. A 
I think that whatever's in there has overflown back to being alive. Looks you that shan't way. escape, abomination. What do you say to me? Not you. Uh, is there a monster? I'm gonna have to fight a monster, sorry. Please. No, no monster. No. Okay, so now we can... Wait. I'm missing something here. Oh. This looks like a different camera angle. Pretty cool. Time, Time to, to go over. Time to use of my motor functions. Whew. I'm too old for this. Let's go this way. Okay, they led to the same way, but yep, we're gonna go to the right, all the way down. First door from the right. That's my father's office. I'm not usually allowed in there. Well, good thing uh, I'm not you. <sighs> now there's info all over the place. I'll need a shovel for this. Let's look at the books. Oh, yes. Interesting. What is? What is? Your father was quite the influential man, wasn't he? What do you mean, was? He did his best to protect the people he cared about. Especially you. Well, he tried anyway. And your servant's mm. departure makes sense now. Just, what points are you trying to make? The point I, is I that anti-Semitism was hard to fight against back then. Mm. His last plans mention a cellar. I don't suppose you know anything about that. No? Oh. That's alright. I found keys to the library room here. It's probably the last place to look. Okay, I'm glad you found it because I didn't find anything. Second door from the right. That's my parents' room. Please be careful. No. We're gonna mess it up even more. Hmm. A bit dusty, but otherwise unremarkable. Bathroom, the desk, the bed. Ooh, there's something under the bed. A bunch of photos. And a letter. Under the bed? Yeah. All photos of the same young man. Some of them seem to be torn, as if they're parts of larger photos. Only one young man in my house. Must be my brother. The letter is addressed to your parents. He specifically asks to be forgotten, and for any evidence of him being here to be destroyed. What? What I'm seeing is that his parents did as told, but couldn't bring themselves to destroy everything. But why would he say that to them? Sarah, does the term la résistance mean anything the resistance. to you? Resistance. Oh no. It's my why? Uh, no reason. La résistance. La résistance. The resistance. A revolution. <gasps> oh no! I know where this story is going. I think. Nothing on the desk. Drawers are completely empty. Okay. Good. Okay, good. I'm glad I came into the the, the toilet. Barely anything left in there. Nope. Okay, we continue the journey. Second door from the left. That's my brother's. Been a while since I last saw him. I'm not going through that mess. But there could be some information, some valuable info. Okay. It was too destruct destroyed. Too destroyed. Okay. First door from the left. That's my room. Alright, moment of truth. Is my kind host going to be in there? 
I gotta be. Where else would I be? I don't know. Looks fairly normal and dead bodiless. I can't see you either. Would have been too easy. Okay, the soup. A desk with a mirror. Bed, well made. No comments, no comments on that one. Tub. A tub? Nobody in it. I dare say this was immensely. Oh, I think I got that through the wall. Remembering anything, Sarah? About my room? Well, nothing special. I guess my dad visited my room more often lately. To talk about our chef and our maid. Mm -hmm. To try to explain why they were gone. So your servants were gone after all. That's why your mother was cooking and cleaning in their stead, I assume. And why their room was empty. Makes sense to me, makes sense to me. Okay, yeah, I got it through the wall. Okay. What now? What now? Let's, let's go downstairs. Hmm. I need to get in here. Use my strong braid. I need to find something. But what? To so lift up a down clock. Well, I guess I could go to like whatever this they were saying the cellar. Maybe, maybe that's it. Oh, this is the library. That's right. I found the keys to it. Hey, Sarah, did you know the Earth was round? Are you mocking me? I know, right? Couldn't believe it either. Damn, damn, savage. It was through here. Barely kept up. Oh, that's the clock, clock door. Blocked. Clocked, blocked. Ha! <laughs> oh, I get it. Get it. Clock is good, like. She was gonna say the other word. That's hilarious. Okay. Well, nothing of importance besides the globe. Of course you'd have a wine cellar. <sighs> I think I just heard your voice more clearly. Then you must be in there. Probably and most certainly alive. Hmm, Well, true. the door is locked. If you're still alive, I don't suppose you could open it for me. Sure. Actually, uh, no. Huh? It's worth a shot. I won't open it. Why? I'm not supposed to open it to anyone. Right. And not because you can't open it. How long are you going to lie to me and yourself? Don't Ooh, call me a liar. Get bad. You could easily be one of those officers looking to finish me off. And you're yeah. the one who lied to me. Yep, I, I, I knew where this was going. I remember that was found in the 18th century. And you're its sole writer? I'm supposed to believe that you're that old? First of all, were there any women among those officers? Well, no. Hmm. And besides, maybe I am that old. You read my ghost stories all the time, but can't accept that. Either way, I can't open the door for you. Then I need another way in. <laughs> Maybe my dad had another key. No. I'll just pick the lock if you don't mind. Okay, I feel like it's going to get sad. Well, uh, are you in? I can't see you. But I can see you. Huh? 
Oh. I'm sorry to announce that the cellar houses only barrels of wine and a skeleton. I... what? To be fair, I would be much more surprised if you were alive after all this time. What do you mean after all this time? Before that, how's your memory now? I think... I remember mostly everything. Oof. Then please, tell me everything. Okay. Well, I remember people in uniforms visiting us a few times. My dad was never happy having them here. Me neither. They took our chef and our maid. Dad said they would never get to me. They did try though. I was told to hide here and only come out on the noises stop. They never stopped though. They kept walking, talking, dragging things. And my parents never came back for me. They must mm. have had a plan to get you out but didn't get a chance. You probably died of hunger or cold. But I still don't get it. How can I be dead? I'm still here. That's precisely the problem. The fact that you stayed behind as a ghost. I'm supposed to believe that they exist now? Yes. I still don't get it. Why did I become a ghost then? Because I died without having fulfilled some wish? To hold any trespasser? Oh, nothing romantic like that. The actual reason is... Mm, complicated. Tell me everything, please. So, when a person dies, their soul traverses the veil that separates the realm of the living and the dead. And I, what, took a wrong turn? No, rather you were pushed back. Probably. How does that happen? Uh, plenty of possible reasons, but my guess is that it's because of your parents. They must have died before you did, while being aware of your situation, and wished you to live as long as possible. So they went through, and you did not. Are you really just a journalist? I am. I just happened to come across anomalies like these, and solve them before they become public. Hold up! How can you keep them secret if you write about them in your journal? By publishing them after the anomaly is gone, there's no more tangible proof of it. But the first articles are from a century ago. Yeah. That's all you have to say about that? Just, uh, yeah. no comment. Mystery. Mystery. We don't have much time left. Before what? The next morning, people are coming to inspect this house. I would spare them an encounter with a ghost. So, that means getting me to the other side, right? I see my parents there. When people die in the same time frame, yeah, they can sometimes find each other on the other side. But souls don't last beyond the veil forever. After a few months, they just dissipate. Well... Surely it hasn't been that long since my death. Uh, I'm sorry to say that we're currently past the 21st century. Yeah. That cannot be. By being stuck among the living, your soul lasted a long time here. But even your time will expire soon. You won't get to see the beyond. Oof. It probably won't comfort you that much, but know that the war is over. And the people who took your family have lost. No, it doesn't comfort me at all. We still have some time. I'll be with you until the end. Okay, okay. I don't want the memory of your life to disappear. I Would sad. you need to recall it for me? You can tell me whatever you want, good or bad. Sure, okay. Where to begin? Thank you. The time has come. 
Are you ready? Yes. No. How could I ever be ready for this? So just do it. Okay. Listen closely. Mm-hmm. Relax and imagine that you're in a dream. Before you is a curtain. And you're one step away from going through. A force is pushing you forward. And all you have to do is let it. Yes, I see it. Oh my gosh, that was real sad, honestly. Holy crap. I can't interact with the skeleton. Wow. The, the camera view is like different now. They're just gonna leave? Just like that? Make sure there's nothing I forgot. I don't know. Maybe take the letter? Ugh. Why so sad? Why so sad? <laughs> oh no, it was sad. Nothing about this kitchen I can do anything about, like... Nope. I don't even know what to say, like, man, that was... Hug it up by heart streaks. Can't investigate anything on the outside. Well, that was sad. I like that game. Something that kind of chill, you know. I, I didn't have to read, so that was cool. One more to come. Car mode unlocked. What the? Use the code Mos Moskvik? What? What is that? Oh my god, what is this? What am I even doing? What am I playing right now? It's so loud. What the heck am I playing? I guess so much for the serious parts. I'm gonna go have to see the skeleton. Uh, 
Oh no. I have to go back up to the rooms. Why is driving so hard? Don't know what's going on. Okay, I'm glad I looked into the bathroom, but it's I got some sunglasses, what the heck? What was I even doing there? <laughs> I don't know what my face looked like that whole time. It probably looks stupid. Um. Oh, it's getting it. Alright, so much for the serious part, but it was a sad game. If you want to play it, what was my time of like four minutes on that card thing? Uh, I'll leave the link to the game in the description. Go ahead and play it. It was a really good game. But yeah, that's gonna do it. It's us, you know. Let's jam out a little bit more. Alright. Peace out. Bye-bye.